Ah, uh, you're watching Kolska Jones. Welcome back. Today we've got the S5 from LBLA, another great beginner drone. Hi, welcome back to Kolska Drones. So today I've got the LBLA S5 drone. Uh, I did an LBLA drone the other week and I was very impressed with it. Start a drone and I believe this is a very similar type of thing. So, in the box you get the manual, which is in English and if I didn't drop it on the floor, English and Chinese. So, Chinese one side, English the other. You get a bag of spares, which comprises of the phone clip, two spare blades, a phone holder and some screws, and of course the charger. And in here you get the controller, which I do like. It feels really nice to fly with as well. It's a really nice controller, nice size, about the size of that mini little jumper that I did, the jumper light, T8 light, similar type of size to that. You get the drone itself, you get a set of prop guards and the landing gear, so let's put this out of the way. So this is the drone, I have flown it. So as you can see it has a camera on the bottom and the camera does adjust by tilting that, obviously not from the controller, it, it, it um, moves by your hand. It's 2.4 gig Wi-Fi, the camera plugs in here. Now I will tell you straight away this is only a 480 camera so don't expect the best image quality in the world but if you're looking at the image on the phone that you recorded to your phone and you want to play back on the phone it looks adequate if you try and blow it up it's going to look thing but it is a 480 camera and it doesn't pretend to be anything else you get some landing gear which just clip in like this so these just clip in the bottom You've got two little holes they clip into the little holes so you could actually keep the, put this back in its box when you're done. That's the drone and these are your prop guards and the prop guards clip onto there like that and in the bag, in the extras bag you'll see there's a pack of little screws so you can put a screw through if you want. Having said that, look they hold quite, you know, they're not going to come out so I wouldn't bother with the screws if you want to put the prop guards on. I haven't flown it with the prop guards on. But if you're a learner, and this is a very much a learner drone, you might be better putting them on. So it's got four brushed motors, gear driven, got lights underneath and the front and lights on the top, which is a nice little feature. The battery is installed under here, so push back on the camera and there's your battery inside there. So again, it's not a proprietary battery. So a lot of people like when they don't have proprietaries and you get a 550 3.7 volt. So these are really common. I think you can buy, if you shop around, I think you can buy five of these on Amazon for 12 quid. So spare batteries are never going to be a problem. And the battery just pops back in there underneath the camera. We'll just connect it up. Connect the camera back up, the battery back up to the drone and then you just put that inside there it is a bit fiddly to be honest and then that goes down like that and then that clips back into place and your battery is inside on and off switch on the bottom of the drone on this side if you see that little tiny on and off switch and then button on the controller Simply turn the button on and off, turn it on and off, and then to bind, up and down with your throttle, and there you go, it's bound. So when your lights are solid, it's bound. To calibrate it, sticks to the bottom corners, you see what I'm doing there, and that's going to calibrate your gyro, so it's nice and level on yourself. So, on the controller itself you have a headless mode button a flip button, auto, la auto take off, auto land, st emergency stop, 
video or photo, long press and short press. And this is your rates button. Now this is the strange thing. So when I first flew this, I did the man thing, didn't read the instructions and pressed this thinking it was going to be a rates button because it na nine times out of ten is. Or we mess around with both. So I hit the, that button first that I could do flips. Then I hit that button and I put it in headless mode. I didn't realise it got in headless mode and it started flying a bit wonky. And it was only after a little bit that it was beeping that I realised that that wasn't. So I turned it off and it flew fine. And that is your speed rates button. Now the only thing I've got an issue with, to do that you've got to take your fingers off a stick or it's not very easy to hit the rates button. So, you got rate 1, rate 2 and rate 3. Outside you need to be in rate 2. I flew this, the video you're going to see coming up at the end of this is just a very short flight in the garden because the weather is horrendous. I flew it yesterday in a break between rain and very high wind and it was still probably about 6-7 miles an hour. I flew this in speed rate 1 and 2 and it was absolutely fine. Anything over that I don't think you cut the wind, it's very very light. Uh, mud speed rate 3, it's not that much different than 2, it just gives you a very much increased yaw rate. So, to the flying characteristics, for a learner drone it's absolutely perfect, it's very very stable, it's very forgiving, nothing catches you out, there's nothing, nothing going to surprise you, it just works as it should. And then, on the drone itself, I like the lights, these look bright and you can see them in the daylight even. And I like the battery placement, I like the fact it's not a proprietary battery. The motors are quiet, as you'll see from the video, it's quite a quiet thing and it's very smooth as the way it's flying. The only thing I'm not too keen about is a 480p camera, which isn't the best, to be honest with you. I, I don't particularly like the, the camera. But it's adequate for what it is. It's alright if you're watching it on your smartphone. But like I said numerous times on my channel. I don't believe these are drones that you should fly. In the um, drones you should fly with a camera. The, the, to me it's just an added bonus that it's got a camera on. It flies really really stable and it's nice to fly. So they're the big things for me. The controller runs on 4 AA batteries. You don't get them in the pack. So you'll have to buy your own 4 AA batteries. And the control, like I said before, is very nice and responsive. It feels nice in your hand. It does, the resolution feels decent on the sticks and the commands follow nicely. So I'm not going to go through the app because you'll see the video footage is coming up. I've recorded some video footage with the GoPro. That's what I'm going to put on the main screen. And then running in the bottom corners, I'm going to have one showing you the app. And I'll put the information on the screen on what the app is and where you can download it from. And then in the then after that you're going to see the footage from the camera. Because if I blow this up to full screen, it's 480 and you're going to be able, it's not going to look great. So I'm going to keep it in the screen, kind of what you see on your phone so you can judge yourself what the quality is like. But yeah, to me, another winner from LBLA. They make very good beginner drones. I've only tried these two and they've both been beginner type drones. So I, I don't even know what else they make, to be honest. It's just these pair that I've looked at. So yeah, I'd recommend it. You can buy it from Amazon, $39.99. The massive advantage, of course, is buying it from Amazon. Well, it's twofold. You're going to get it very, very quickly. But the other thing you need to be aware of, they have a 30-day return policy. So if this drone isn't what you wanted, provided you haven't damaged it or anything and smashed it to pieces, you can send it back. Of course, this is the fault on the drone. You can send it back and you don't have that issue. So I'm probably going to review more drones that are on Amazon over the next few months because of the fact they're easy to get and also the fact that you have this safety feature of your, your money safe you're not going to have a bad drone you can just send it back so thanks ever so much for watching watch a video that's coming up and it's a quick video showing you flying have a fantastic day get plenty of flying done and yeah i recommend this one thank you bye bye
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching